These TikTok videos are going to have you believing that there definitely is a glitch in the matrix. Let's watch. That is freaking weird. Y'all, this airplane is just floating here. Look at this. It is real, but it's like barely moving. What the fuck? Barely. It's not moving at all. It's not moving at all. Oh, she said it too. Look, y'all. Look. What the? F How does that happen? There's oh a God. there's a real glitch in the matrix. I was looking <clears throat> I was looking at the comments of this video, right? And people was like, "Oh man, clearly the plane is flying. It's it's all about the fact that you're going this way and the plane is going that way, so it looks like da 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 da." da. No, this plane is not moving. It's still. People are even in the comments saying, "No, if you look at the telephone post, you can see that the plane is clearly going past the telephone post." No. Nah. You're still wrong, because if you look at the telephone post and then you look at where the plane is, that plane never moves from the same telephone post. Look at this post. Look at that plane. Post, plane, post, plane. This post is ahead of the plane. This post, this post, all of them are ahead of the plane. That plane is not going past the post. Look at that. Post. We just went past the last post. Plane, still, right there. What are you saying? This plane is not moving. It is still. There's a glitch in the matrix, I'm telling y'all. Okay, guys, I don't get this. My man says she hasn't been moving for five minutes. This woman is over there fake taking a picture as she's walking her dog. She's in a pose like she's walking. The dog is laying on the ground. The dog got so tired of her BS. Hey, guys, I don't get it. Look at the dog. How you go fake like you taking a picture, you walking, and the dog is just laying there? Yo, who gonna believe that she walking the dog and the dog is not even walking? My girl, what are you doing? And now she's looking at the picture of the dog like, bro, I'm so tired of this woman. She want to be social media famous so bad. <laughs> You guys see that shadow? Where? 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 Where are the clouds? Nah, for real. How is there a shadow on this mountain? There's not a cloud in the sky. Where are the clouds? Yo, that's crazy. Wow. There's a glitch in the matrix. Yo! Yo! What was that? This woman just glitched out. Did y'all see her face? I know you did, because I zoomed in on it. What's going on with Katy Perry? Yo, Katy Perry. Why is she glitching? I was thinking this, too. I was like, yo, she did the same glitch that Katy Perry did. The same blank stare. Look at this. The craziest part about this clip is that Katy Perry goes right back to normal like nothing happened. Bro, hey, y'all remember this? Two headed deer, right? We see two heads. We see two heads. One deer body, two heads. What's going on? One looking left, one looking right. They both putting their head down like they're feeding on grass. It's a little baby deer, too. So cute. Incredible. How is it still alive? How is it still alive? Because it's a one headed deer. Look. Look. That's crazy. It went from two heads to one. Maybe the other deer is perfectly placed behind this tree now. Hold on. Let's see if we could spot where that could have happened. Let's see if we could spot where that could have happened. Oh. I can't spot it. All right. So I'm assuming this head could belong to the other deer that's maybe standing behind the tree. And right now, he's put his head down. He has. And okay. Yeah. It's. He could have went behind the tree. It's just this camera angle is, is messing with us. Yeah, I think he's just perfectly placed behind that tree right now. Still, she posted this video on the internet trying to fool us because she felt silly once she realized that it was just two deers and one was behind the tree. I'm pretty sure she saw that other deer come from behind that tree. We ain't stupid over here. We, we know what happened. Take a look at this. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. A plane appearing to hang in midair over San Francisco. See, y'all explain this one then. Since y'all think y'all know it all from the last clip, look at this one. 
The same thing. This plane, you see this bridge? It hasn't flown past this bridge. Whatever is flying in the sky right now, whoever's recording this, they're clearly moving past this freaking plane and bridge. Your this plane ain't. Eyes, they're not playing tricks on you. It's actually an optical illusion called the parallax effect. So when you're moving past another moving object and it appears to be stuck, the video has gone viral with some people calling it a glitch in the matrix. It is a glitch in the matrix, it's not the parallax effect because the other plane is moving and this one ain't. Yeah, I wonder if it's still there. <laughs> It is. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm bull, I'm BSing y'all. This plane does look like it's slowly moving, honestly. Just look a little bit closer. Okay, never mind. It's it's not. It's definitely hovering over this bridge the entire time. That's planes be flying fast. See look, even like right here, it looks like the plane is behind the bridge. And then it slowly gets closer, and now it's over the bridge, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. Okay. What are we looking for here? Okay, we see a slit in the bride's dress. And then when this woman walks past, the slit goes away. It could be just that the slit closed over, right? I think that's an easy assumption. Oh, whoa, hold on. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. So this, all these girls are walking, about to climb up over this fence when this boy appears out of nowhere. Where'd he come from? No, nah, look, 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 look closely, look closely. The kid was not there. Look, he's not there. And then boom, he's there. It's crazy. All right, we got what look like a plank of wood flying at them. Whoa. Where'd he go? <clears throat> got some girl, another girl. Whoa, where did this dude where did this dude come from? I'm scared her. This dude came out of nowhere. Alright, we've seen this clip about 50 11 times, but for those of you who haven't, check this out. I don't even remember what happens here, honestly. Oh yeah, so this girl is walking forward, right? And she looked like she's walking by herself, but somewhere, somehow these two girls appear. Okay, so riddle me this. This cup broke in the dishwasher. Okay. This is the shard we found. Gotcha. Exhibit A. Flip it the other way, silly. And the way that it is... No, put it in. <laughs> it's rounded, so it's supposed to go like that. With the lip of the cup on top. And that's the way that it would fit. Right. But that's the inverted part. How do you... That's crazy. Fit? That's actually crazy. In the cup. It's, it doesn't... Yo. Going viral, baby. <laughs> I, have, I have an assumption. I have an assumption, right? So, I'm feeling like something's wrong with that washing machine. Something is probably wrong with her dishwasher. This may not be the first cup or only cup that she has broken in there. And she might not even realize that this is an issue. She probably places her cups in the same place in the dishwasher every time that she washes the dishes in the dishwasher. And it's probably broken multiple cups. But maybe this is the first cup that she has realized that she has broken. I don't know. I'm assuming. And it just so happened that it's breaking it the same way. So there's probably another shard of glass in that dishwasher that is the piece that actually belonged to that cup. You know, I had to come up with what could possibly seem like a logical explanation but I could be wrong. That might be the correct shard to that glass. It's just the matrix caused it to, you know, the other correct piece is in an alternate universe somewhere. The question is, does broken glass invert in the dishwasher? No. <laughs> Thank you and someone help. <laughs> it didn't track the milk. A consistent pour is what this looks like to me. Nice.
Hill surveillance camera filmed an absolutely crazy scene. When this mother was walking down the road with her daughter, something truly improbable is about to happen right behind them. If you look closely, you'll notice there's a cat behind them who's also walking with them. Well, look at this cat carefully. And most importantly, look at what he does. He's walking normally behind the mother and the daughter. And after a while, for whatever reason, look at what he does. He literally backflips. <laughs> the mom hears something, so she turns around. Wait, but unfortunately, yeah. it's already- Yo, that's- 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 that's Puss in Boots. <laughs> Yo. Why did this cat just randomly display its acrobatic abilities? Hey, that was cute, though. Too late. If you agree she missed out on something crazy, subscribe. <laughs> Ah, why are they showing this like it's a glitch in the matrix? It's not a glitch in the matrix. This is a freaking, this is just a clip to saying, hey, what if it went this way? It didn't go that way though. All right, so let's let's see if we can see what's going on here. You got a guy, stand, you got two guys, a black guy and a white guy. Look like they're wearing the same thing. Almost, yeah. And standing, watching. This man just weirdly walk backwards turn to the right hey the black dude did the same thing what the heck now they're walking off at this very consistent and weird slow pace what in the world happened here is that a glitch in the matrix or was it staged Dude, we're tripping right now, bro. <laughs> we're tripping trying to get to my car. <laughs> that is my car. All right, so this is his car. <laughs> right there. If we go down a level, it's <clears throat> a floor below the car. It's it's a diff clearly. You go this way, go down. You're going below where your car is. Clearly. Floor. If we go <clears throat> up, and oh snap. Clearly, if you go up, you're going above the car. Anybody else ever experienced this before? This is a weird phenomenon that happened in some of these parking decks where you know where your car is, but you can't get to it. You try to go up, you try to go down, nothing works. This has happened to me a few times. It's very frustrating. How? How does it happen? We try and walk around this fuck. It is a floor above my car, bro. Clearly. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? And it's not like it's easy to just climb over these things right here. These these wires. It's not. There's no way to like go. There's a glitch in the matrix. Why is it just floating? It's just. Fl what the what? She got a floating bubble. Like there's it's. Wait. That's crazy. What? That bubble is right there. Like she's washing dishes and like the dish bubbles, the dish soap bubble is just floating there. Oh, it popped. It popped. Y'all saw that? That was dope. In the matrix. Oh, we've seen this one before. It's me walking. I'm walking. Look. Again. All right, how y'all gonna explain it this time? See, this time, they're not even moving. They're in one spot. And so is this plane. This plane isn't moving. It's not moving. It's not. It's not. Clearly. So I did my sister's nails yesterday and I got a new primer and today while we were cleaning she found this nail on the floor and we figured that my primer that I used yesterday was probably just not a good primer and we checked and she has both her thumbs on and I've never done this style ever before. Is there not a possibility that she just did an extra nail? You know, it, it, one extra nail maybe? Um, I don't know how it works. Do a lot of nails come in those packs? Or is it just enough for 10 fingers? Ever before. All right, in the track. Oh. Whoa, how's the train moving so fast on this side and super slow on that side? That's crazy. All right, this woman is doing her makeup, her lipstick or something. And she's looking into her hand as if she's looking at a reflection, but there's no mirror in her hand. What the what? There's clearly no mirror in her hand. What is she? Okay, so here's my sink. It is a touch sensor thing. Okay. 
cool. And here's some strawberries. Strawberries. We love strawberries. Nothing happens when I touch the box, but when I touch a strawberry. <laughs> Now that's what I call a glitch in the Matrix. How's she touching strawberries and it's making the seat come on? That's crazy. But nothing happens when I touch the box, just the strawberries. Yo, that's too cool. I would invite every friend that I have over the house just to see that. I know some of y'all thinking, why not just send them a video? Cause they might not believe the video. But they will believe their own two eyes if they see it in person. It's a different experience. Come on now, get it together. Glitch is caught on camera. The sun shrunk my baby's Crocs. I left my daughter's Croc in the car. No, no, no. I, I need to show you guys the original size so you guys know why I'm tripping right now. Look how cute this is. So I showed you guys the one that shrunk. Look okay, how cute. It's like a newborn size, okay? Is what it was originally. Like this big. Look at the difference. That's crazy. So cute. I'm about to turn this into a cute. Chain. That's gonna be a big old keychain. You might need to turn it into a coin purse. <laughs> a little coin wallet. Art of Kicks is the name, sneakers is the game. If you leave your shoes in the car, trust me, I know, I've restored many of shoes. If you leave your shoes in a car, depending on the material of the shoe, it will damage the shoe. You can experience soul separation where the bottom of the sole is detaching itself from the top upper of the shoe. So for a crock that material to shrink like this, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, she is clearly singing the song that we're hearing in this car. They think that this is a weird coincidence? No, they're probably just listening to the same radio station, duh. Unless he's playing this through. What would be a, a crazy coincidence is if he was listening to that song on like a music app, Spotify, Apple Music, and they were just so happening to be listening to the same song at the exact same time. They had to play the song at the same time in order for this to happen, right? Yeah. Most of y'all know how I feel about my neighborhood, right? And how it's a fucking violation. <laughs> Look at this shit. 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 Look at this and do you see a couple of black ones sprinkled in there? <laughs> Gentrification. <laughs> hey, this reminds me. I was somewhere. I can't remember. Where, I, I might have been. Where was I? Might have been in Florida or something. But I remember it was a bunch of red vehicles. It was like just red cars everywhere. I was like, what the heck? And did you see another one? I was like, how? How is it so many people got red cars? Are all these white cars like dead ass? all right explain this explain this what the heck boy look i was tripping for a second all right so you got people it looks like they are sitting on the outside ledge and balcony of these of, of like what, what looks to be some type of building apartment building um hotel or something and it look like they're falling but clearly they're not it's almost as if they're just sitting on the floor and Easy explanation. Look down here. Boom, they are. This is where they actually are sitting. This up here is nothing but a giant mirror that is showing their reflection. Let's watch. They're going to get up. People are going to get up and move on the floor here. Uh, watch this two couple right here. Specifically, as they get up and move, what happens here, oh, or these people, happens there because it's just a reflection. Oh, and, and check the mirror. The mirror is actually slanted, too. The mirror isn't standing straight up. It's actually slanted over them. I didn't even notice that before. Okay, y'all might think I... All right, so we got a gallon of water here, and it looked like it's half empty or half full, whichever one you want to call it. Crazy, but I swear this is like a glitch in the Matrix. Oh, I've drank in half of this gallon. Drinking? Does she mean she drank? Of water. Not half, but, you know. Clearly. When I first opened it, I ripped the cap off everything. Man, that thing looked like it has not been opened ever. And, and it's not like it's the water's leaking out the jug anywhere. Like, that is how we could catch her in a lie, but... 
I want to believe that what she's saying is true. Now it looks like it's never been touched. Look, I can't. That's from me, like trying to pull it. But like, wild. It won't come off. Like it won't come off that way. And the seal is completely intact. Completely intact. I don't know. Definitely a matrix glitch. There's no way. There's no way. This is an incredibly shocking scene captured by surveillance cameras. Okay. After watching it, I couldn't calm down for a long time. It truly made me believe in the existence of parallel universes. In the footage, the girl is playing with her phone while cleaning. She quickly gathers the trash together. But just as she picks up the dustpan to collect the garbage, she suddenly notices that the broom has vanished into thin air. This sight completely baffles the girl, leaving her standing still. Are you serious right now? You got to be kidding me. The broom is under her freaking armpit. The girl is so dang on to see this world. What's, this was wrong with these kids nowadays. They be like this all dang on day long. Then they starting to lose half their brain cells. She's so worried about what's happening on that dang on cell phone that she can't even get her chores done properly. She rather look back at her phone than to look under her armpit where she put that dang on broom at. I'm telling you, watch. In bewilderment. She can't comprehend how the broom she was holding just moments ago could disappear. Only thing that has disappeared is half her brain cells. Poor child. Could it be a ghost? After several minutes of searching, the girl still can't find the vanished broom. Perplexed, she scratches her head and decides to grab another broom. She plans to finish her work first and then analyze what happened. Continuing with her task, the girl takes out a new broom to resume sweeping. Perhaps the captivating content on TikTok distracted her. Unfortunately, in her multitasking state, her phone coincidentally drops to the ground. The girl looks at her fallen phone with... She done dropped the broom from her armpit. What's she gonna do now? Think that the dang on broom just magically <laughs> appeared again? Great distress. However, at that moment, she suddenly spots the missing broom, startling her to the point where she almost shouts for her mother. If it weren't for the surveillance footage, her experience today might have required a Nobel Prize winning physicist to explain. This man had to troll us like this. Y'all know I had to troll us too, man. I always got to throw in some of these clearly cap conspiracy theories and glitch theories and all that type of stuff. This is clearly cap. As in the man that was narrating was doing the cap and this girl wasn't paying attention is what she... Ah, right, ooh, if that was my child, I would have put that broom across her butt. Now I'm playing. This clip has left viewers confused. Take a look and see if you can figure it out. What, he just fell? At first, it just looks like a guy falling over on the ice. Okay. However, if you watch closely, one of his legs appears to inexplicably switch with his other as he falls over. What? Yo! Some viewers believe this is a glitch in the Matrix. What the heck? How? What the? Yo, no way! Look at that, y'all, for real, though. How did this happen? This leg right here... Whoop, it goes up. It's, th it's this leg, right? And then it switches. It goes from being this leg, the left leg, to being the right leg. How in the world did that happen? We're following this leg. Following it all the way through. And boom, it becomes the other. That's crazy. I'm tripping. I am tripping. This That's a glitch. That is a glitch. Yes, I know that I am high right now, but look at this lady. She's hitting a tennis ball against absolutely no surface, and she's just bouncing back to her. Like, stick, look at it. <laughs> How's it doing that? All right, let's see what happens with this little doggy. Jugando y grave en fallo en la realidad. Te piso, viste? Wait, hold on. Dónde salió? Wait, hold on. Where did that puppy come from? Where did that little guy come from? Dog running, and then bloop. Look at, look at him. 
Yo, did that did that dog just birth a whole different breed of dog? And <laughs> yo, this dog came out of nowhere. That was crazy. I gotta see that one more time. Gone. Bloop. Dog comes out. <laughs> what? That was wild. Ew. What's going on here? All right, no way the water is going through the macaroni. Yo, so the water is going perfectly into one single macaroni and shooting right back out of it. That's crazy. Did we just witness a glitch in the matrix? All right, see some cabinets here. Dang, he kicked it and created another cabinet door. <laughs> Where did that come from? I feel like I'm experiencing a glitch in the matrix right okay. now because this drink looks like it's full, right? Yeah. Like, Very full. Like, it looks like it's full, right? Yeah. Very full. Right? Yes! So, I'm gonna take a sip. Okay. okay. A big gulp. A big gulp, yeah. Should be less full now. Okay. Okay. Look at this one. What? What the fuck? Why is it still good? Still full, and it don't look like she's squeezing the cup. Dang. She got that instant refill. She don't never have to worry about <laughs> refilling her drink again. It does it automatically. Lucky. Why does it still look like that? It look like she might be drinking sweet tea. She better be careful before she get the diabetes. I know it's not still full. Dang, it almost looks more full. So I came home from the store. Okay. And I opened up this gallon of milk. Gotcha. And I poured myself a glass of milk. Uh, that you did? And then I realized I should have shaken up that milk. So I poured my milk back into the jug. Now my milk jug is full of milk. And I still have this much milk left in my glass. <laughs> How does it make any sense? Glitch. Where did all the milk come from? It's glitch. It's glitch. I'm watching this dude through the mirror. Okay. Right? And. All right, so he said he watching the dude through the mirror. I'm assuming this is the mirror right here. So we see the driver of this vehicle. He's got on shades. See the, the reflection of this mirror. Same thing, got on shades. His face is moving. But the, look at that. His face just moved, but the guy in the, the mirror is seeing the same. Yo. Yo. <laughs> The matrix is broken. All the way broken. I'm losing my mind right now and I need someone to tell me if I'm crazy. You're crazy. Have you seen those videos where people are like, I'm stuck in the matrix, my life is glitching out. Can somebody please explain to me how I'm sitting here doing my little thing, making tiki talks. I'm looking on my desk and I see this. What the hell is this? What is this? Cause it, it looked like a piece of your fingernail. Looks like it's my nails, right? Girl, I've got all my nails. Uh, and I want to specify, this is the first time I have ever had this design. Ever, 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 ever. But that's definitely what that is. That's crazy. How does this keep happening to these women, man? This is the second video we done seen like this. That's clearly the same nail design. Like, she's proclaimed none of her nails are broken off. How How is this happening? Right? Even the other side of it looks like when you, like, rip acrylics off. I the girlies know what I mean. Do I just throw this away and act like this never happened? I'm kind of really freaked out right now, but I'm trying to stay calm and like come up with some kind of solution as to why the f this would be here. Tell me that's not a nail. I, that is. Do I need to give this to the government for investigation? If you can come up with some kind of solution for what this is and convince me that it is not a nail, let me know. Nah, that's clearly another nail. I just don't know what the hell. Man doing push-ups next to a mirror. Got the reflection. Whoa, whoa. There was a delay in that reflection. What in the world going on here? Listen to this. Can somebody please decode this? Humanity doesn't have much time left. Now, let's take talk about it. Before you scroll, I need you to hold on because this video... Did he say let's tick tock about it? Might be the difference in life and death for your family. Uh oh. 
She went to this website here, Ingersoll Lockwood, mm -hmm. a very prominent family and company for the United States. Back. You can see that they work with Space Force. All conspiracy but down people here, know who this is. there is a little... He said all conspiracy people know who this is. I'm learning today myself. I don't know. Red. You have to just barely, pay, you have to pay attention to see it. But you have a rabbit that pops up. Mm -hmm. You see the sand, the, the, the time <coughs> clock with the sands. Mm -hmm. And you'll see this. Decoding this is this. 11, 16, 23. Gotcha. 11, 16, 23. All right, let's, let, what does that mean? Is that Does that mean November the 16th, 2023? We just hit November. We got 15 more days. What's about to happen? Hold on. Something from the skies. UFOs, maybe? Are going to hit the firmament. And waters are going to start to flow. But that 241 means... This is a rabbit. Rabbits are known for running. Okay, hold on. So the guy down here, he want to talk over this man. He said the 241 on the time means something. Is that supposed to be the time that the the beings from the sky come down and break through our firmament? For those of you who believe in the flat earth theory. Are going to start to flow. But that 241 means This is a rabbit. Rabbits are known for running. You're running out of time. Once again, 11... 15 or 16, 23, there's what appears to be a cigar-shaped comet or asteroid that's going to hit the firmament and release the waters from above, and we're running out of time. Do you all remember when the future map of the United States was posted? And you can see as California's covered, uh, parts of Florida's covered, uh, parts of Texas, New York is underwater. Y'all remember when this this very map right here started circulating around the internet? What's supposed to be our future map? 2017. That time is almost here. Let me show you what Ingersoll Lockwood is famous for. He wrote this book, The Last President, 1900. And inside of this book, it describes eerily what's exactly going on today. And the last president of the United States lived on Fifth Avenue in New York City. What's located Fifth Avenue, New York City? Trump Towers. Pay attention. I'm going to show you another book that he wrote in 1893. He also wrote this book, The Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey. Hmm. In that book, the Baron Trump. Does Trump have a son named Baron? It is a weird coincidence. Once again, these books were wrote in the late 1800s. Let's move on. For those of you that heard of Operation Jade Helm and the conspiracies behind that, let me show you. One of the number one theories around this is around this is a comet or asteroid impact. It says some conspiracy theorists have connected the Jade, Jade Helm 15 military exercise with an apocalypse caused by a comet or asteroid striking the Earth. Once again, we have 11, 16, 23. And if you look in the background, look at that. It's coming through, smashing the firmament, releasing water. Wait, so... I did hear him mention something about <clears throat> what's coming through and smashing the firmament is uh, like an asteroid shape. I think I did hear recently that there was an asteroid headed towards Earth, maybe? If you look over here, this place is dead, desolate. On this side, there's still life, but we are running out of time. Interesting. If anyone sees anything else that I might have missed, please leave it in the comments or tag me in your video. And there's one more thing I want you to see on that website. You can see we're still here. If you look, it says the year is 2023, but is it? No, it's 5,784. 
you all continue to forget that the 2023 started whenever Jesus supposedly died. So this is the year that we are really in. Let that sink in, people. That's crazy. That's great. Delta 910 did a great job at this video. Great job. There's only one thing about his decoding I have a question about. This time clock is not put there just for no reason. Why I say that is, this is an hourglass, the sands of time, right? Why put a clock at the top with the time 2.41, right? I can speculate that on that date at 2.41, that comet could hit. And say if it does, well, how precise would that time be? All y'all, well, majority of the truthers, and if the truthers don't know who Ingersoll Lockwood is, they haven't done much seeking, and they only post news media clips for fear mongering. But I love people that provoke thought. This is a real truth. This is one of the real truths. Give my man a follow if you do not. I Accusing other people of posting clips talking about fear mongering, and then to state that this is truth. So he really believes that in 15 more days, something major is going to happen. A lot of predictions like this happen every single year, but yet nothing has actually occurred. None of these predictions. So what will happen if his prediction falls through and nothing happens on November the 16th, 2023? Let's see how he feels then. He probably going to be like, oh, snap, look, y'all. It was just a theory. Push the tag him. But I wish he would have talked about that time because he got looked over. And that's the only thing to his comparison I can say. But let's talk about what we know. He showed you that map that I've shown many times from Forbes magazine that we've been inundated since 2017. What we know is that insurance companies have moved out of three states. California, Nevada, Louisiana. Why? This map starts making a lot of since then hmm what do you think peace of the gods this man found a 20 dollar bill with a watermark of a horned george bush and i just believe that they need to get out of the ohio valley and let others know about it and what it is is in this religious book bible might have had for a long time is a 20 dollar bill and most of these 20 dollar bills which when this came out in 2004 the watermark is jackson and jackson well, the day when I got this bill, we, we were all looking at the light because it was a brand new bill. And as we were looking at it, it was Jackson, Jackson. We clearly saw the bill. And I have a lot of friends that you know, witnessed this bill at the time when they got it. Well, that evening I took it home. And I wanted to put it in my angel book Bible as a bookmarker because I didn't have my other angel bookmarker. And I basically just tuck it and I stuck it in the book and went to sleep like that and thought nothing of it. So the next morning, I went to get up to use that twenty dollar bill for gas, and as I did, I couldn't believe what I saw when I looked at the light the final time. When I looked with the watermark, it looked more instead of Jackson. Now it looked as his Bush, and Bush is our president. And the difference is, it has a horn on the head now. So when I saw this, I ran out of the house. I went to tell people, and I told the news story, and everything else, and. Everybody was just freaking out because they couldn't believe what was on my image of my bill. First thing they said was, is it real? I said, yeah, it's real. It's the same bill. So I took it to different banks and had the news station take it to banks and stuff. And what you're about ready to see is on this bill is you're going to notice that this watermark isn't Jackson. It is Bush. And as I take it up here, I'm going to have to show you in the light here that what you will see. And as he's showing it oh, here, uh, I'm going to get another bill. for the Y'all look at this. Look at this. The watermark is different. It looks as though it has devil horns on it, too. Exact same year, and show you what it's supposed to look like and what that looks like. Let's take a closer look at it. Look at it. It's a different image of someone else, and it has devil horns. Look. What? Don't have me looking at money different. Dad, look at that. You see clearly in the watermark. Is the image of Bush, the nose, the chin, the eyes, there's a horn coming from the head. And the news stories that I have support that. It. It's been on News 9, News 7, 
It's been in uh, regular articles, online stories, which I can submit that all with my story. And every time I try to submit the story outside of Ohio Valley, somehow or somewhere seems to stop my story. This is one of the wildest conspiracy theories I've ever heard before. So there's this book called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, which was written in 1893. The story is about a boy named Baron who lives in Trump Castle. And Baron became bored with his life of luxury and decided to go on an adventure. And on this adventure, he was being guided by a man named Don, who helped him find a time travel portal in Russia. Then the same author wrote a sequel three years later, and he titled it The Last President. The main plot of this book was about a wealthy man who lived on Fifth Avenue in New York City that decided to run for president. Then shortly after he wins the election that no one thought he could, he's inaugurated and he selects a new cabinet member by the name of Mr. Pence. Then after his inauguration, since no one thought he would win, people erupted into violence and people started to riot and damage property left and right. So here's where it gets really weird. Nikola Tesla, who had claimed to have figured out time travel, had about 80 trunks worth of his life's work. When he died in 1943, the man responsible for collecting all of his work was an MIT professor by the name of John G. Trump. Donald Trump's uncle. And get this, after John Trump died, there's rumors that Donald Trump inherited Tesla's work. So the theory is, Donald Trump used a time machine to travel into the future where he saw Hillary Clinton win the presidency, which then led the US into a complete collapse. So he traveled back in time, decided to run for president to try to save the country. All right, no more Yo, here. yo, that's a crazy theory, yo. If that book really did outline those events that way, I believe it. I don't care. I believe it. Donald Trump is a time traveler. I believe it. It's cool. Cool with me. Fine with me. I like this theory that much. I believe it. This will be some of the most important information you ever came across in your life. I want to start by asking you a question. When you were younger, did you ever hear that storks delivered babies? Yeah. And did you ever wonder why people would even be questioning where babies came from? I had a discussion with my dad last night about this topic. I want to play a short clip of what he said about storks delivering babies. Okay. Even as a child, I remember coming up hearing about storks delivering babies through movies or through, uh, I don't know if it's through books, but it was never taken as serious. I thought it was just a way for parents to say that's where babies come from instead of the parents. Most of us probably thought something like what he just said. Yeah. The truth is revealed in movies and TV shows. I want to show you a clip from a movie made by Warner Bros. Studios released in 2016. Pay attention to what the stork says and what's going on in the background behind him. It's an image as old as time. A baby swaddled in white, delivered by... This is why there were so many orphan themed movies that came out. What I'm about to show you next is the mind-blowing part that I was talking about. But before I show you, shameless plug, bookofhiddentruths.com if you guys want to learn how to see with your third eye for the first time in your life. Or you can click the orange series button that you see that red arrow pointing to below. It's a simple four-minute meditation. Less than 20 seconds after you complete the meditation, a colorful 3D floating orb that's only visible to your third eye will appear in front of you and float around your room. It'll be one of the most life-changing experiences because you instantly realize that there's a whole nother world of things going on on earth that our regular eyes can't see it's only visible to our third eye but let's get back to the video look i want to show you some clips from a video on the mind unveil youtube channel if this video was just talking about the topic it wouldn't be that mind-blowing what makes this video so mind-blowing is the fact that he's showing real postcards from the late 1800s and early 1900s that he's collected all of the postcards have babies on them now there's nothing wrong with that right what's shocking is the words that the creators of the postcards have put on them and what some people that lived in those times were writing onto the postcards this is the thumbnail to the video on the left side of the thumbnail is one of the postcards with babies on them it's in french i translated what it says on that postcard into english and this is what it said babies for sale with them you will have the best joys this is an advertisement. They're advertising their product. He has a pile of postcards with babies on them and the babies are all riding the train. One of the things that I thought of, if they were being sold, how are they being delivered? How did they get to people? This right. right here answers that question. So this is the babies and trains category. That's not just cabbages. That's what's so fascinating, 1909. They also have these babies being shipped or transferred on trains. 
this is the next clip that I wanted to show you. I translated what that banner says, and that banner says the, the baby, baby farm. farm. Cool. Yep, this is um, a baby farm. The farm of babies. Let's see. Interesting. 21 is the postmark. Now, I thought this one right here was interesting because it showed babies coming out of eggs as if they want to convince people that babies may come from eggs. Keep in mind that they also showed babies growing from cabbage. This is where the whole idea of Cabbage Patch Kids came from. So there's actually a lot more of these, but this is the only one that we have in our collection. Like a lot of them on a farm being incubated. Here's a stack of postcards with babies and storks on them. Yeah, this is the stork water baby category. Let's look at this one a little, a little bit longer, go back to the front. Yeah, they're kind of all grouped up here. Very strange. Of course, this video is just for entertainment purposes only, but out of all the cards that I saw, this card right here let me know, okay, it's real. It's not just a conspiracy theory. Look what this lady wrote on the back of this postcard. This one is a crazy one probably already brought it up but this is the one where on the back it's basically saying to hurry up and make an order let me see if i can show you dear l don't you think they are very pretty on the other side if so hurry up and order one before they all get sold wow. she said hurry up and buy one before they all get sold this would mean that some people are the descendants of manufactured babies Another thing that I thought was interesting, and I want to get your guys' opinion on this. So in the Storks movie, there were all types of different races of babies that were being manufactured. But I went through the entire video. I saw all the postcards that he showed in this video. And I noticed there wasn't not one black baby on any of the postcards. All right, y'all. That's the end of the video. Leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.